In this episode, I will be taking you on a journey to discover the life of the Chinese ethnic minorities in Yunnan, their religious life, <laughs> their stunning culture, and the most bizarre food I've ever seen. It was beautiful, it was cute, it was fun. Stay tuned to the end to find out. Xishuang Banna is a part of China's southwestern frontier. It is also the autonomous prefecture of the Chinese Dai minority, who have their own written language and religious tradition, Theravada Buddhism, that bears much cultural resemblance to southwestern Asia, such as Thailand, Myanmar, and Laos. It is usually places like this that made me think about the sheer size and range of China, as well as its complexity. Many Chinese minorities, like Dai people, don't actually have a lot in common with the Han majority in a pure cultural sense. A close connection to neighboring countries, a different ancestry, a different language, a different religion. But for some reason, Chinese society often finds a way to meld these differences into a giant homogenous nation. Being a Chinese myself, this still intrigues me. I had spent a bit of time in Jinghong, the capital of the prefecture, soaking myself in a tropical climate and exquisite Thai food. As I moved on, I decided on a change of cultural landscape to see what else is there. So I tracked deeper into the valley of Xishuan Banna. I stepped farther into the mysterious mountainous region. Not far from the China Myanmar border lives another Chinese ethnic group that writes in Dai language, the Bula minority. When I first heard of them, I never knew there are still people in China that adopt others' written language but keeps their own spoken tongue. One of the many examples in which different ethnic groups merge their own culture with others. I stayed at a guest house in a Bulang village called Zhanglang, famous for growing Asian tea trees and sugar canes. Like how all relationships start in China, you never want to appear too kuchi, too much of a guest. While the host family was cooking dinner, I helped to take care of the daughter. Later, we had dinner on your patio watching the sunset. The first thing I did the following day was to look at the local Theravada temple, which is usually the place where Bulan boys acquire the written language. According to the Dai and Bulan tradition, boys are required to practice being a monk at the age of 10 or 12, and that's how they pass down the written language, the tradition, the religion. But there's an issue with this, which is usually after these boys get exposure to this kind of lifestyle, they're not very willing to finish their education. They won't go to high school. They almost never go to university. If you want to create talent, that could become an issue. A few years ago, the Chinese government decides that none of the underage are allowed to practice religion. So the new dilemma is that there will be fewer and fewer monks in these minority villages. And that's the new problem.
ตาตาสามัยสัทธาจิตาวันเนจิตาติจันนายาปาติกาปฏิสัมมาสเนอาโอชีหลังมีสัทธาโอฟังหนูดาสปุริสาทั้งหลาย This is the b u l a n g Jing Shu using the old Thai language. So this book is made of the the skin from the tree. You can't really tear it. When I asked Mang Yan about the new rule, his reactions didn't come apparent to me. But that was soon addressed when we went outside. <laughs> I noticed there was also a boy bathing the sun with us. <音>去学校读我对啊我们现在放寒假了再回来了要不然我我像我平时在学校读书一个月或者两个月回来一次暑假多长时间呃来七八年七八年呃哎我读三年级了就不来了一直到现在哎那你是在边读书边出家嗯
们以前居住的都是这种木房子了嘛，然后现在我们村里是发达一点，好多人家他们都是有两个房子，一个是木房子，一个就是楼房，这些构造差不多都是用木头做的，因为以前都是那些老人都是成群结队的，就把那些树砍回来就背着回来了嘛，几个老人家会画一个构造图，然后就画出来，就开始构建这些东西。Look at what I found. Meet our new friend Yulong, and she will be showing us what a usual day looked like for an average villager. I find her very smart. In Zhanglang, every family owns private land for tea farming. Kids are usually a part of the family labor. This is an incredibly difficult place to get to. And I almost fell a few times. Ah! 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 Oh, God. Oh my, what a journey! We teachers often say, "For you, the big dreams of the Dasan children, the biggest dream is to go to the Dasan. The only way to change the destiny is to study." We often say this to our teachers. So I say, "I choose to study hard." 我想考一所大学，然后考大学之后，就是趁着放假的时间，回来村里面看一看，就是有一些村里面有什么可以建设、可以改进的东西，再改进一下。就每当我们把活干完的时候，我们就看到我们是多么的厉害，我们的辛苦成就呢是非常的不错。然后我们又看到回家之后跟父母说，我们已经把活干完了，父母脸上都是那么的高兴，我们也就很开心，心里面非常的满足。Seeing them this young yet this mature really made me want to capture their face. Sometimes beauty can be very simple. Wow, 美女的笑容怎么那么吝啬的？那美女都不喜欢笑的Everyone from beautiful Bulang Mountain. Hello, hello. Xiaoyue has the most beautiful smile, and I was just so mesmerized by her. We decided to spend more time together, but this time with them wearing traditional clothes, because you just gotta have traditional clothes. Yulong had to be away to help her mom, so it was just me, Nan Mong, and her sister. The old lady doesn't speak Mandarin, and so we just use our body language to get by. She is shaking her head, and 
hit me in the hand. I'm guessing she liked them. Wait, why is Namo wearing my bag? Ah, oh, that's why. This young lady just decided not to use her legs anymore. Children, responsibility. Ah, I'm all for it. <laughs> I'm telling you, this one is a handful. You have to You have to bow. So she has not passed the terrible two. I'm telling you. Having my fair share of sugar cane. First of all, I just want to apologize for this look. I usually like to be very put together, but not when I'm traveling. <laughs> My clothes are filthy. I'm holding this sugar cane that I did not finish and do not want to finish. <laughs> and I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy. <laughs> My host, uh, they are offering to give this to me, but I, I don't think I'm gonna keep this. Oh, what I'm gonna do with this? I'm gonna. <sighs> the passion fruit season is almost over, and these are all that are left to give away. <笑><笑> Before I left the village, I bought a few kilos of black tea from my host to give to friends and family. The night before I left, they said that they had already found a better way to help me travel. And, uh, I'm, doing, I'm, 
I'm going down to the town with this car. I'm gonna have my once in a lifetime opportunity going down to town. Show you came to us. That was indeed better. Way better. People's kindness and hospitality has always been a great source of inspiration for me. And in return, I also enjoy sharing with them everything I've seen along the way. Hopefully, that will become their window to the outside world. Thank you, Zhang Lao. It's been wonderful.